Mitch, I really don't even know exactly what's wrong Just with him. Just because I... you're my brother doesn't mean I'm gonna let this go easy, Paul. Mitch, I'm trying to figure this out. I just you need mean more you're time. trying to figure it's something just... out. I don't want to hear that there's no cure, Paul. I'm doing my best, Mitch. Yeah, your best sucks. You know, all I'm asking is that you show a little compassion. I show a little compassion? You always ask the most ridiculous, ridiculous. things, Sam. Every time I'm here it in this ridiculous. home, You're providing for this father. family, I'm showing compassion. You know, but what? if you are so ashamed of our son, then you just get out. What did you say? Yeah. yeah. You know, I walk out that door, and it's over, Sam. Yeah? Yeah. Fine. No, you don't. You don't get to touch him. Get out of here. I said get out of here. Come on, honey. Come on, let me help you. Cal, you okay? You all right? Hey, you know you can't try this alone. Mom, I... Do that, Kyle. Not without my help. Someday we'll figure this out, okay? Right now it's just too cold. You have to promise me you won't try this again. Promise? You chose this responsibility. You have to check up on him. I didn't think you would try this alone, especially at this time. Again, Caitlin, I understand that we're trying to make Kyle's life as normal as possible, but that does not justify your lack of responsibility. From now on, I'll be checking on Kyle. You make it sound like I don't care, but I'm scared every second of my life for Kyle, Mom. This is not what Kyle wanted, for us to worry about him all the time. That's just not possible. He left us. He doesn't deserve to know anything about Kyle. 
He's a coward, and that's why he doesn't respond to your letters. He has a right to know. Kyle is different from everyone else, and that's all your father needs to know. Okay. If you don't want to help me send this out, that's fine. You know, I didn't want to say this, Mom, but I've had it. But you've changed. Ever since we found out about Kyle... Enough, Caitlin! doing here? This is not going to help your liver problems, Mitch. I need something from you, Mitch. I mean, I need someone. Someone? Kyle. I've been studying his DNA, and I know that if we can just... I do told a you. Never bring that up again. Mitch, I think if we, if we can rearrange two of the base pairs of the nucleic acids in his DNA, we can cure his immune problem. <laughs> After all this time, you're coming up with this now? Research takes time, Mitch. Uh. Who else knows about this? Only the family. And now you. Oh. See? 100% record! Last to know! That's me! So I guess uh, Sam's controlling everything now, right? And they're doing fine? I don't know. After the divorce, Samantha got a restraining order against me. Really? Somehow, Samantha got the idea that Kyle was in some kind of danger. You mean she didn't believe you? Well, I'd feel insecure too. Mitch, you don't understand. We can help Kyle. Well, you know where they live. You don't need me. No, I don't, Mitch. Samantha and the kids moved. But I think I can find her if I have her social security number. And I know that you know it. You got a pen? Why do you ask? I want you to be happy. Are you happy? You're not? Kyle, you know daddy's not coming back. He doesn't answer the letters. 
can't trust him. Kyle, I know you want to live here where it's cold, and I admire your courage to fight your fears. I've been thinking really hard about what happened last night, and I don't want to argue anymore, okay? As soon as Caitlin is done with school, we're gonna move someplace warmer, where you can live a normal life, and you don't have to worry about your weakness. Kyle, honey, say something, please. What have I done? Did you find me? You might ask your drunken ex-husband that. You don't need to call anybody, Samantha. You are never touching my son again. Now get out of my house! Put the knife down, Samantha. Look, I'm putting mine down. Samantha.
Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, open the door, Kyle. Better go home before your mother starts asking where you are. Mom's dead. What? Do you hear me? She's dead. What are you talking Why about? Why did you Caitlin? leave us? Stop it, Caitlin. Stop it. What did my brother do now? Uncle Paul, he took Kyle, didn't he? I knew you were involved with this. What? Involved with what? Don't lie to me. I am not lying. You said you coward. Mom was I... right. Honey, stop it. Sit down. Coward? Caitlin, I love you. I love your brother. Your mother and I, we couldn't get along. It's just that Samantha and I, I couldn't stick around. I thought you left because Kyle made your life miserable. Samantha, Paul was here earlier today. So you know? Yeah, yeah, about a cure for Kyle or something. Cure Kyle? He didn't tell you. Tell me what? Didn't you read my letters? Letters? I never got any letters from what you. What about my voicemails? Oh, no, no letters, no voicemails, nothing. What, Galen? What's going on? 
A few months after you left, Uncle Paul decided to test Kyle's blood on AIDS patients. What? Kyle's blood can cure AIDS. He told us to keep it a secret from the government, to protect Kyle, but he'd been practicing privately for the money. Paul, for money? He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't. He's changed. I've discovered that some factor in Kyle's blood can inactivate the AIDS virus. What? You can't tell anyone about this. I need to do a lot more research. And it is essential this information not leave these four walls. After more successful tests, Kyle tried to warn us, but we always trusted Uncle Paul. Just lie back. Come on, Kyle, please. Scene. We got really lucky that day. That's why the restraining order. Oh, that lying bastard. What's that? You always told me to be prepared if something happened. Just in case Kyle ever got lost. I can't believe he killed Mom. Right now, we've got to go get your brother. Okay, well, it looks like he's not too far away. So you go get the car and I'll be right behind you. Interesting. Your blood. Your special, Kyle. You can help keep people from dying. You want that, don't you? Come on, are you feeling better? Kyle, I need for you to be fully awake. For your own safety. And then I'm going to sample more of your blood. And it'll be easier if you're sitting up. You can trust me, Kyle. You know I don't want to hurt you. You're too valuable. Come on, wake up. Come on, you weren't out in the cold that long. done here, I'll take you to see your dad. <laughs> clever. Very clever. You are still a boy. And you do love to pretend, don't you? Stop it! Sure. We're going in. 
Caitlin, step back. Mitch, let me explain. Caitlin, go get your brother. Kyle, are you okay? Are you sure? Mitch, put that down. I'll put it down, all right. I need both hands to strangle you. Mitch. See this? This could change our lives. Yes! Mitch, 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 Mitch. No! No, Mitch, I need his blood, oh, Mitch. 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 No blood, what for, Paul? What happened to you? Talk to me, Mitch. Mitch. It's a medical breakthrough. A medical, medical breakthrough, my ass. Yes. It's all about money. Money, money you son of a bitch. Would, you wouldn't hurt your older brother now. What Half would brother. You oh. my family alone. He talked. He talked to me. He spoke to me. You oh, son of a bitch. No. Miss son of a bitch. He talked. Three boy 55, I'm on scene. 2146. Could you spoke to me? Never! He says again! He spoke, Mitch! Let me explain. I I am a medical researcher. I'm trying to Look, can you let me explain this? Yeah, yeah, we'll be talking about it. Outrageous. What the hell's going on here? the world. If the government knew what Kyle's blood did, 
they do whatever it takes to supply it. And we can't let that happen. Not now. At least not until we know how to keep Kyle safe. Dad? What did you want to show us, Kyle? Kyle, what are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Kyle. What is it, Kyle? <sighs> Daddy. Caitlin. Don't be scared. Dad, did you hear that? I can't talk long, but this is about mom. Why don't you just give up? I want you to be happy. Are you happy? I looked into mommy's room one night. She was protecting me because she didn't trust Daddy. Mommy thought what she was doing was right. When I saw Uncle Paul hurt you, I realized I can do this. I can deal with this now. People are dying. I want to help. I know I can't do this alone. But if we all can work together. Buddy, you sure you want to do this? <laughs>